If you clicked on this video, then you've probably been scouring the internet trying to find a good nail kit because you're beginning to start learning how to do nails and you don't know what to buy. Let me show you what I bought. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Shawnee and this is The Nail Sanctuary. So in today's video, I want to show you all what's in my beginner nail kit. But before we get started, happy holidays. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas. If you celebrate, mine was amazing and I got the best mama in the world, period. So I bought this cute little case off of Amazon. It's a makeup case, but I'm using it for my nail stuff and it works perfectly fine for that just to hold some more of my essentials so today I kind of curated what I bought when I first first started wanting to learn how to do nails this is pretty much the products that I have bought so let's get straight into it the case actually comes with this latch and it has a key that comes with it too so that's nice if you want to lock up your stuff so I have this organized kind of how I would, you know, grab products when I'm first starting a set. So on this top row, I have my essentials of when I'm first starting a new set on myself or either my practice hand. So one of the first things I bought was this Mia Secret dehydrator and primer. These work amazing. You guys have seen me show these in previous videos. I use them all the time. So yeah, those are essential. You need those. And then I have this nail brush here. This I use to, you know, clean off the dust. You know, after you're done fouling, you want to clean off that dust with some alcohol or whatever. That's what I use that brush for. And it comes in handy. I have a bunch of these, so I use those once it runs its course then I'll throw it away and I'll grab another one and these here are some gel polishes that I bought they actually came in a set like this these three is the base coat top um, the gel top coat and the matte top coat and I'm gonna be honest y'all I don't really use that base coat at all let me know if I'm wrong by not doing that but um I probably am but anyway so the matte top coat and that gel top coat work wonders I'm actually on the market to you know find some new ones just because you know I like trying new stuff so but these actually work well they weren't that expensive so I have that linked in the description box if I can find it if I can't I'll try to see if I can find something comparable but yeah those work great y'all love them especially the matte top coat it yeah the matte it does what it's supposed to do so the next thing i wanted to show you all is this cuticle oil and it's called milk and honey i think and it's pretty good it actually you know makes sure that my cuticles stay hydrated and yeah I, I like it a lot so i've had this for a while too so it lasts a long time the bottle was pretty full when i got it and i think it's not even halfway gone so yeah love it so in this next little section here i have some nail glue i've showed these before this is the kds glue if you do nails then you know about this glue everybody talks about it it works great on my actual hands love it on that but on my practice hand this glue is a nightmare so i don't really like it on my practice hand because it takes a long time for me to glue the tips on that but on my actual hand it does what i need it to do so i love it for that I actually used it to glue on the tips for this set that I have on right now that you all saw me do in my last video. But yeah, I like it a lot. So this here is some gel polish and I put these in here because, you know, you want to have some polish to start out with if that's what you want to use. I'm actually starting to lean more towards colored acrylic, but these are essential for the sets that you want to do amazon has a bunch of different kits you don't have to get this specific brand they have a bunch of different kits but i want to just show off some gel polish you can use that or regular polish 
So this next thing here is just some glitter. This isn't a situ at all. Like you don't need glitter to do a set, but I put that in there because you know, it's fun. You wanna do something fun with some nails. You got some glitter. Now we're gonna move on to the next little tier. And in here I have some nail files. These are the 100, 180 grit files. I use these on the natural nail, you know, when I'm just shaping my natural nail or if I wanna just file the natural nail instead of using my e-file. And I would have had some 100, 100 grit files in there because that's what I like to use when I'm shaping the acrylic. But the ones that I have right now, they just aren't good. So I'm not gonna recommend those. Then I have some buffers. Those are really good. I need some more, so I'll be ordering some more of those. So here I have some nail tips, and these are the ones that I bought when I first started buying nail stuff. And as you all know, I am using some different ones right now just to try them out. But these are the ones that I bought when I first, first started. I'll let you all know what I think about the other ones when the time comes, but these two I do recommend. Here I have my implements. I have my nail tip cutter. Girl, I have my nail tip cutter, clipper, whatever it is. And you know, you use that to cut that tip off. And those craft scissors, I use that to cut the sides of the tips when I'm trying to shape into like ballerina or coffin or stiletto or whatever. When I'm trying to shape the tips, I use that. But that the tip cutters, clippers, I use those when I'm like, if I want to take off this set that I have on right now, I would use these to just cut that off and then soak the rest of it off just to cut down on time. I have a nail clipper here. This is from Dollar Tree and I don't really use these, but I've seen a lot of nail techs recommend a straight edge nail clipper. So it was only a dollar at Dollar Tree. I'll give it a try and let you all know how I like that. Some cuticle nippers here. I do not use these on my cuticle. Like they are sharp, y'all. Very, very sharp. So I don't use them on my cuticle, but I use these to like pick the gems off of when I have gems on my nails when I'm taking off a set. So now we get to the meat and bones. You can't do an acrylic set without acrylic. So when I first was starting out and I went to Amazon, I was looking for products. I went straight to me a secret because a lot of nail techs that I watch on YouTube were recommending this brand. And I bought a bunch of different little sets that came with the monomer. And that's one of the perks of when you look for these Mia Secret sets. A lot of them come with the monomer. Uh, sometimes it's like two ounces or two fluid ounces or four fluid ounces. But I have an eight fluid ounce here. And it lasts a pretty good time. Um, I've opened that, I think, I don't know how long ago. But it's lasted me a while. But the thing about this Mia Secret collection here is that y'all it is it is very hard to work with as a beginner because it's runny so when you're picking up that bead of acrylic and you're trying to run it down the nail it's it can be tough to work with so you got to figure out that liquid to liquid to powder ratio which i'm still working on trying to get it together so yeah y'all I'm actually waiting for some product right now from another brand. It is pricier, but it's supposed to be like smooth as butter for beginners. So I'll let you all know once that come in, I'll do a review. We'll get into that. But right here, I have some more glitter and I got this whole little pack of glitter from Michaels. I'll link that in the description box so that you all can purchase if I can't find it I'll link something similar now the next thing these are just essentials to keeping things clean as you all know with the times we're in right now you want to make sure that your hands are clean and all that stuff like that so I have some hand sanitizer here I got this from Dollar Tree y'all do not sleep on Dollar Tree Dollar Tree is that girl I get a lot of stuff from Dollar Tree 
go to Dollar Tree, y'all. Uh, I forgot to mention that I use a cuticle pusher too, but it's not pictured here because I couldn't find it. But here I have some acetone and acetone. Of course, we use this to, you know, soak off the acrylic or gel polish or whatever that you need to soak off. I'm trying to find, look at me being clumsy. I'm trying to find a, you know, bigger jug of that. But here's my nail brush. It's actually an alpha brush and I'm just bedazzling it. I'm not done yet. That's why it's not, you know, all the way cute. But... I love it so far and look at this cute little dapping dish that I bought y'all isn't it cute it's a crown and you can sit your brush in there uh, I think I only paid like I can't even remember how much I paid but that thing is too cute you can put the liquid in there and use it and sit your brush on it that's cute I love it <laughs> so paper towels of course those are essential you gotta wipe that brush off when you're using that acrylic or it will stick and then I have some lotion here. I got that from Bath and Body Works. You don't want no ashy hands, especially if you're going to be taking pictures or being on camera. And then now we're getting into the practicing. So here's my practice hand. She is a hot mess, as y'all can see. Like, sis has been through it. And it works y'all I am trying to save up for or not save up but I'm trying to eventually get me a, another practice hand probably from red iguana but this one is going to work for now so next here I have my e -file, and you know what we use this for this is for the drilling of those nails and I've used those little cheap ones, you know, the little $20 ones that a lot of people get when they're just starting out. And to me, they're not worth it. It's just a waste of money. This one is a little bit pricier, but to me, it is worth it. I use it all the time. It gets the job done. I love it. It's the Melody Susie Scarlet Drill. Go get this, y'all. It's good. My actual drill bits that I use with the drill, those need to be clean, so I didn't have those to show. But these are the sanding bands that I use with my e file to uh, get the shine off of the natural nail. I think these ones are the 180 grit, or they might be the 240 grit, but those are the fine ones. So those are the ones you want to use on the natural nail. You don't want to use a coarse one because it will, it will damage your natural nail. So yeah. And here I'm just showing you all the difference between the two sandy bands. That one that I'm holding on the right, you can tell that that one is a coarser grit. And that's the one you don't want to use on your natural nail. But that one that I'm holding right there, that's a finer grit. So yeah, I use that on the natural nail. Next, I have my nail lamp. And you all have seen this in my affordable nail art haul. I'll link that in the cards so you can watch that. This, I told y'all, would tell y'all if I like it. It is good, y'all. I like it a lot. So far, so good. I'll let y'all know what I think in a few more sessions of using it, but it's doing what I like. It's good, y'all. Next, I have some alcohol. And in conjunction with the alcohol, I use these lint-free wipes. They're good to make sure that you're, you know, cleaning the... Um, nail or you know wiping off some polish and you don't have to worry about lint if I haven't said it already everything that I'm showing y'all it was bought off of Amazon unless I specifically say that I bought it somewhere else then I just have some gloves that I use for when I'm practicing and these come in handy so that my skin is not constantly coming in contact with different chemicals and right here I have some bling that I got from AliExpress and you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on you know the bling a lot of people use Swarovski but those are expensive when you're just starting out you want to use stuff that costs less because you don't want to waste a bunch of money on stuff if you don't know if you want to do this full term so 
these i got like i said i got them from aliexpress and they were super cheap the only downside with aliexpress is it takes a long time with shipping i think when i had bought a bunch of stuff it took like maybe a month or two to get to me but it was worth it because the stuff is cheap y'all cheap cheap and it's good quality too so don't mistake cheap for bad cheap just means it didn't cost that much money then I have a bag of these droppers and I use those to you know dispense the uh, liquid monomer they're disposable so use it and then toss it when I need to so this here is one of the first things that I bought it's the Mia secret nail gel resin it works really good to glue on the bling that I showed so I love that and then the next thing that I have here some barbicide wipes and these barbicide wipes I use to make sure that I'm disinfecting my nail table I don't want to pass any germs to myself or to anybody else if I were to practice on them so I'm making sure that I keep everything clean so that's why I have the barbicide wipes now going along with that this is my barbicide jar and I use this to disinfect all of my little tools that I showed you all like my cuticle pushers or my nail clippers stuff like that all that goes in here my drill bits that I told y'all need to be clean once they're clean they're gonna go in here with some barbicide to be disinfected like I said you don't want to spread any germs especially if you're gonna be practicing on other people you need to make sure that you are being safe and clean the last thing you want to do is give somebody an infection or yourself now the actual barbicide, I do have that, but I don't have it in my room right now to show. So I'll just show a picture of that right here. And that's what I use to put in this jar to do my cleaning. So in the comments, let me know what's in your beginner nail kit. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. And I'll see you all next time. Bye y'all.